back. My name is Philip. I'll train you on form validation. As we have been doing our tutorials on other chapters on JavaScript, now we want us to do something we call form validation. Form validation, we discussed how you can create a symbol form in HTML. You can create in HTML. Then uh, to validate, now you need to use a higher level a higher level programming language and now on this case now you're going to use javascript whereby maybe you you need to for instance you want to check whether the email being submitted is right format that will apply you need to apply some validation to the form during creation it actually occurs at the server then if the data is in file or is missing or some data is missing then it brings an error and it sells you then you should re-enter your data again. Now we'll have two main functions that we will use and the two types of validation that we will be do looking at. So first of all and just need us we go to our file, we open our this is Visual Studio Code now. Just go to your file, then you create a new file. What else you create a new file? Then you can just name it as Okay, all right. So we can just name it as validation, validation.html, all right, dot HTML safe. All right, so that's our, that's now our file, HTML file. Hereby we are going to use JavaScript inside an HTML file, whereby let's just generate basic tanks of html then in between your body tanks now where we are going to insert our script tank to show javascript now right right now we are saying that we're talking about form validation we're talking about form validation and there are two types of validation that we'll be looking at one of them is basic validation validation then we have data format validation right now see this now you're talking about basic validation basic validation here the form is checked to ensure all the fields are filled before submitted then we have the other one other type of validation whereby here the data is checked whether it's in the right format and value all right now we we'll love now an example here, an example here to create a form. Now we'll create a, just a simple form, then we just validate it. All right. Now, um, for those who know how to create a file, now we'll use in between here, we'll have now to create a form. Bye bye. We're going to create a form. Then we call it form, form action. Then you can call it. Okay. So, due to time, just allow me to create a form. Then I will show you how to file it. Thank you. Now, this is our symbol form. This is a symbol form we are using now. And uh, if you don't know how to create a form, or you just don't know how to create a form, you can just visit our website www.atlanticfilo.com and they take our HTML course. Now we have our form here. We have our form open and closing here down. Yeah, this uh, closing tank for form. Now that's where our form reaches. It has only two, three parts whereby we have the name, the email, and we have the submit, submit button now. Then now, uh, on the border, we have the border. These are the properties for uh, for the table we are using. Then the name of the form is called my 
my form mark this mark this this is my form will be used it in when you validate in the form now you can view the form here so this is our form now this is our form so this is our form you can handle your name there you can handle your email let's say that one and you submit you see now you submit and nothing is happening all right now we want to see we want to see we want to see how you can validate this form such that if you want to not enter this one or you do not fill this field then it cannot submit that marks our first form validation which is basic validation we'll say that basic function is where you you cannot submit it happens when you are submitting your data then uh, you cannot submit because maybe you have not filled the certain the, the required field so that's all what you call basic form then data format validation is um, all about the format of the data if it's correct right now this uh, now after that we will now add our javascript code below there whereby we love now our validation now all our validation all our validation appears here all our validations appears here appears here so this is all our validation appears there so we're saying that all the validation appears here now we love now our validation now to validate our data we'll start with basic validation whereby we'll validate each and every field there all right now we love the function as you said before we love the function then we call it validate all right now after calling it for date now you open then uh, say this is our um, if i love now if we love the if now then you say document document dot my form document dot my form and you say name you start the field of name all right and then say value right so then um, right now We love now after this one after this one now we love now a lot if it's empty now now it's after a lot here please enter your name please enter your your name then we love now So that's the alert. Then um, okay. So for this, so. This validate now is closing all the form, all the function, the validation now. So after this, we have now another curly braces there. Then uh, we have this, we have that alert, right? After this now is when we have now. We have now document document dot my phone dot my phone dot name dot focus you focus now you are using focus function here as you are looking event type you saw focus 
Now, that is focus now. That is an event type. Then uh, you say return false, right? Return false. So it will print, please enter your name if it returns false, right? So you're only focusing on the name. The name, this focus function is used. Now it means that you're focusing on the name field, all right? Now that is return, return false. Now we love now to repeat the same process for all other fields, the three, the the email, the email field, then now now we'll learn. So let me do it offline. Okay. Now we have also validated the email, so they are just the same. Now here we're focusing on email, then it says alert, please enter your email. Then you are you say this is uh, right this is email this is email now and you love my phone so we are focusing on email then if all the above fields are true or they are you have rendered the field then it returns true and now you can submit your you can now submit your form now let's see let's see how it happens right now let's remove this field right and try submitting right please enter your name the page says please enter your name so that's it let's say you enter your name right then here you try to submit please enter so the page says please enter your name now you enter your email then you, you submit now you can submit Right, let's check. Let's check where is an error here. So, And let's remove this try to run it like that okay first first man Right now, here yeah, now let's run our program now and see it appears. Right, if you try it, it says please enter your name. Right, let's enter our name here and then try submitting. Please enter your name, then you enter now here, new submit. Right, see now, that's how you validate your form, basic, basic validation now. 
now we are trying to, what we are trying to do that you validate that you cannot submit before you handle your you handle the form or you handle the name right now the other thing we are doing today or we are going to do now is what you call data format validation data format validation data format validation now will will be focusing on email alone will be focusing on email right whereby maybe you can just say or you can just use if the email does not have at at this one eh? this one we're talking about these eh? we are talking about this one hat this one if you are or if you are your email does not have this ad then it is invalid all right now let's let's try it now let's try it whereby you're going to use the same same you're going to use function whereby you say function then you say file date then you say this is function now after that or file date you can just say file date email you can just say file date email let's call it file date email then you laugh now to <coughs> you have now the furry email id email id equals to document document with my phone with my phone dot you know full stop you use value okay now here we'll introduce to something else we call articles articles which is used to check hat which is used to check for that character, special characters. Now, this is email, ID. Right, now we are trying to validate or to do what you call data format validation. Whereby, now this ad post is just a, it's used to check if this one, if this one is available or right, is in the in that email, all right, then index of is just to show whether it's there, all right, there on your on your email and trace, right? Then also you can also check full stop because whether you're writing email, this is the format of your email. Your the email appears like this. Eh? Let's say example at gmail.com right so you are trying to check this one if they are available and also this one if they are available if they are not there in your email then it says it print out or it brings out this alert please send a valid email and then you're trying to use focus whereby you're focusing on email field only email field right now we can just go to our form now, then uh, try to refresh now, refresh, right? Now, you can enter your name. Then here, you can just write something which is not an, which is not an email, see? Now, 
we are trying to say that if you try to submit or you try to submit your form now you can have either let's say that's my name then here you hand just something let's say this is not a email eh? by look it doesn't have heart it doesn't have a full stop then you try to submit eh? it says the page says please enter valid email address okay now you can try an uh, a valid email now let's say try this one because it has art it also has we have also this one right now try to submit see it has been submitted and it appears in your url here whereby you have your email there and your name here all right now let's try to use you can use okay let's, uh, let me man, where is it? here we can use an example example at gmail co we have not used the full stop there right now it says please send a valid email address let's use full stop there then you do not have this one hat you see then you try to submit it says please enter valid email address right now if you use hat there then you can submit right it has been submitted and you see the email appears here then you have your name right that's all about form validation hope you have understood otherwise you can visit our website www.lantechfilo.com so this is our so this is our website so this is our website here you can just now this is our website now so this is our website you can visit there and you learn all the courses and many more courses in python in any other programming languages exercises and a project thank you guys for watching remember to subscribe like and share